How you doing YouTube? I thought I'd just take a minute to make a video while I'm having my coffee and share one of my latest investments with you. I just uh I just picked up this silver spoon right here. If you take a look at that, really nice uh really nice sterling spoon. A small one, really small spoon, but it's got an interesting pattern. I don't know, I guess it's maybe like a floral pattern or something there on the on the handle. And uh got a good deal on that. Sterling sterling spoon there, not the easiest to see I guess here on my camera. But um yeah, I think um you know that's a great great investment right there. And um it's got multi functions, multi uses. So I'm pretty happy I picked that up. And um yeah, just thought I'd take a minute and share that with you and um, talk a little bit about silver and silver investing. And, uh, you know, everybody was talking about if there's ever a pullback and if it ever hits this price and that price, and we've come down quite a bit. Now, it wasn't too long ago that we were at these price levels and then we moved up. And, um, you know, when I first got into it and it started moving up, I really thought that, you know, it was just going to shoot up and keep going up and it was going to skyrocket in price. And apparently that's not the case. And again, I really don't know how low it could go. But I still think silver is a great investment, or um, at least a great thing to, to have and to hold. I don't know if it's really a great investment now that I think about it, and you know, to be honest. But I, I do think it's something worth having. And then where I just picked up that spoon, um, you know, it's got many different purposes and functions and uses. So whether it's an investment, an inflation hedge, or just a spoon, either way, you, you know, it's going to maintain its value. And um, silver is worth silver. So an ounce of silver is an ounce of silver and always will be an ounce of silver. I left that as a comment on one of Silver Futurist videos, and I think it was Walden Tree responded back, and I, I think maybe he didn't get my point. Um, and I also made a video, the the real uh, silver price manipulation or price manipulation the real story and uh, my point was is that gold and silver cannot be manipulated so all this talk you hear about manipulation it's the people that are manipulated it's not the silver it's not the gold now the markets are not free markets um, stock market is you know these ETFs are not an actual representation of the silver of the gold Right now, the markets do set the price. Um, there is a premium, of course, for having things minted and you know shipped and all that kind of stuff. Um, these companies have to stay in business, but they're basing their prices off the spot price and it's spot plus you know whatever their premiums are and their their costs. Um, but you hear all this talk about a shortage and a disconnect and all that, and I don't see it right now. Some of these people are talking you know, massive shortages and massive disconnects in price. I'm nobody. I can go on, um, you know, Preservation of Wealth. That's the company I deal with. I put a link down at the bottom. I can get Silver Eagles all day for, you know, $3 over spot. Um, so there's, there's not a huge disconnect. It was $2. They raised it to 3 So before, you know, I was getting them for like 25 Now I can get them for like 26 or 7 or something. And um, that's just me, who am I, you know, so I mean, there's no major shortage, you can do it, anybody can do it, so, um, and I don't know if that's a great price, to me it seems like a good price in comparison to other items, it's a great price, but the price is really not manipulated, if you don't want it, don't buy it, if you do want it, it's out there, you can get it, so, you know, to believe all this hype of people that are trying to sell you stuff or scare you or whatever, it's a bunch of BS, so, you know, don't get into it. Now, do I think that, you know, a block of silver is worth more than an iPhone 5? I do. Um, but maybe it's not, because with an iPhone 5, you can get directions. You can, um, you know, call, t call up somebody across the world and, you know, make a meeting plan or, you know, give them an idea for a business or whatever. Now, that might be worth more than the silver. But I just feel like in, you know, 100 years, that silver is still going to be silver. In 100 years, nobody's going to care about an iPhone 5, but I'm pretty sure they'll still be interested in silver. For the time being, I see these sterling pieces like silverware as being great, because if the price goes down to $5 an ounce, who cares? You could still, uh, you know, have your silver and eat off of it too. 
and um, you know that's cool. So I just think that that's a good option, and especially when you can get these um, you know things that have an artistic um, you know jewelry aspect to them, like sterling silverware. Um, for spot prices, you know, so you can get a really good deal on some sterling right now because it's not as popular as some of these, you know, bullion coins. And, um, yeah, I mean, why not pick up a set of sterling silver, especially if the price goes down really low. Um, and if the price goes high, you could always, you know, sell it as it is. You could send it off to be melted or whatever you want. But, yeah, I just, you know, I like to watch YouTube because I get different points of view and uh, sometimes I think maybe some people miss what I'm saying in my comments or in my videos or the points that I'm making, but I get some great ideas from other people and I take and leave what I want from the videos and the information and most people have some really good stuff. So, you know, while I may watch people with drastically different points of view, I'm doing that to learn and to take all sides and all thoughts into consideration in, uh, in my thought process and my decision making. So while I might really like some, you know, silver bulls that are all to the moon and some uh, silver bears that are, you know, always down on silver or silver investors, I kind of combine the two and try to take all that into my thought process. And one of the most important things I heard was an ounce is an ounce. So, you know, silver and gold are silver and gold. I, I think that that can't be stressed enough. And about people being manipulated and not the markets, um, or, or not, the, not the silver and not the gold. You know, the markets are manipulated, so if people are hyping it up and, you know, it's all to the moon talk and all this other stuff and shortages, the price could go up so much, you know, I mean, it, it really the sky's the limit. And the same thing if they start, you know, smashing it and how terrible it is, the price could go down, you know, it could go down below the cost of mine. Um, and if nobody wants it or nobody's taking delivery, you know, the price could go really low. But at the end of the day, silver and gold is still at silver and gold. I mean, you can have it a save. That's why I say that, um, you know, it's just not, uh, not something that can be manipulated. Silver is an element and, um, you know, paper is not silver. So you might have a paper contract for delivery. If you take delivery, okay, you can test it, that's silver. But as far as all these, um, you know, these different things, silver is silver and nothing else is. I mean, it's a pretty simple concept. So if everybody wants silver, you know, it's going to be in high demand. The price will probably go up. Now, the things that do change are like uh, valuations and exchange rates. So, you know, that's why I like these comparisons of uh, silver to a loaf of bread or silver to a gallon of gasoline or silver to an hour's labor. Um, all those, I think, are really useful comparisons. Dollar valuations, not so much unless you take the value of the dollar and, and the exchange rates of what a dollar can buy you, you know. Um, silver dollars used to be silver, you know, just under an ounce. I think it's like three quarters of an ounce of silver. So at that time, a dollar was pretty valuable. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, you know, if you were somebody that talked about the price will never go down and silver to the moon and all that, if you really, you know, if that was you, get out there and buy some silver. And uh, if you don't like silver, or don't believe in silver, you think the price is going way down, sell your silver or, you know, go give it away. Whatever. I still like silver and I um, think silver is a great investment. I think if you're going to hold something, silver is a thing to hold. I'd rather have a, a share of silver than a share of stock. So, um, you know, I picked up that spoon. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. Hope you do too. Have a great day.